I am very glad to introduce Mr. Shushant Dev, who secured All India Rank 8 in uh, Environmental Science paper and All India Rank 321 in Civil Engineering paper in GATE 2024. Uh, Shushant, congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Shushant, it seems we have availed from AS Academy the AS Online Test Series for your ESC plus GATE preparation for 2024. Yes. So, Sushant, you tell us uh, how you used to use this ES Academy uh, test series in our preparation effectively. Sir, actually, uh, uh, ES Academy helped me a lot through the test series. I used to attempt the test, and whatever question I made mistake in the mm -hmm. in the test series, I used to note that. And uh, when I used to revise the test series, so the, what I used to do, I revised those questions. So I, I should not be repeating those mistakes in the exams. So that helped me to remove my mistakes and to avoid commit the mistakes in the real examination paper. OK, good. Uh, Shushan, uh, may I know which college are you from and when did you pass out? So I, I, I am from an IT culture and I passed out in 2021. Uh, what have you been doing since then? So after passing out, I attended GATE in 2022. And through that, through that, I got MTech in IIT Delhi. But my ultimate aim is to get into a PSU. So I keep on attempting GET. And in 2024, I got this okay. rank. Right. OK. You're already pursuing MTech. But still, your main aim is uh, getting into PSU yes. job and, and then engineering services. So that's yeah, why you that uh, yeah, from there, right? That's why you have taken this GET exam. Uh, OK. Uh, Mr. Shushant, if I ask you this question, uh, how you could get uh, R&D rank 8 in the environmental science and the rank is not so good in the civil engineering because civil engineering rank is 321. What do you say? Sir, I will say that uh, I commit I committed a, some silly mistakes in the civil engineering paper, but that mistakes I have not committed in the environment science paper. So my rank is so much good in environment science paper because I have not committed even a single silly mistake in that paper. But in civil engineering paper, what happened, sir? I committed uh, three to four questions. I made a calculation mistakes, and that's why my rank rank is a little bit low in that. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes it happens, right? If you do some mistakes, uh, silly mistakes, it may cast your rank like anything, right? That may be the reason. Okay, uh, Shushan. And also, I, I was on the reason was sir, that like two to three questions were a bit lengthy. So uh, I at, uh, started attempting that, and that took a lot of time also. So. I thought I should not attempt it. I should not have attempted those questions and focused on the other question. Yeah, Shushant, you said you did some mistakes uh, in the civilian paper, right? So from these uh, mistakes, what do you want to suggest to the aspirants of the gate exam so they, so they won't repeat the same type of mistakes in the gate examination in the, in future? I, I one thing I want to suggest them is that after uh, attempting the paper, uh, you should go for an, uh, at least one check for the. Uh, for the paper answer key, like you have to attempt, you have to check for the calculations in, that you have done in that question. So if there is any silly mistake, you can come to know and it will give you marks. Uh, don't trap in a, some lengthy question that it takes uh, like 15 to 20 minutes. If you don't know the question, then don't attempt it. First of all, attempt the paper in a strategic way. What, do some, first of all, uh, do only those questions which are very easy and get solved within a minute. First attempt through the all the paper like this, and then in the second uh, second time attempt the questions in which you are uh, uh, confident, but it will take more time. And after that, re re revise once the question that you have attempted, and then if you have time, then attempt the lengthy question. Then you can. Yeah, this is very useful uh, tip for the many aspirants. You know, sometimes uh, students unknowingly they get trapped in trying to solve such a lengthy questions. Yes. Even though the question is known to them, if it takes more length of the time, it is better to avoid in the beginning. In yes. the end, after two rounds, three rounds, if at all they have sufficient time, then they can afford to attempt those type of questions. Yes. Right. Yeah, it is a game plan of this examiner also. Wantedly, they create certain questions which are lengthy and time consuming to trap yes. the student. Student have to be alert to that. All these type of mistakes students can overcome if they have a good practice of the test mm -hmm. series. Yes, sir. one of the intention of the test series, right? Uh, uh, Shushan, if you compare 
the civil engineering syllabus and your environmental science syllabus. So can you quantify how much percentage of the syllabus is common between these two? I think sir, 70 to 80 percent of the syllabus is almost same because sir, I have prepared only for the civil engineering and attempted the gate environment science paper and I got this much of marks. So I can clearly say that and the syllabus is almost 70 to 80 percent is same. For if you want to study the, the remaining 20 percent, then you have to do something different. Otherwise, 70 to 80 percent is same as the after thing. So as far as your case is concerned, you prepared only the civil engineering syllabus. Yes. Sir. So with that, you could you could get a rate rank in the environment. And also, if you are preparing for uh, engineering services, then what happens like engineering services, uh, the syllabus is a little bit more than that of the gate. So in that case, you, you cover almost um, much of the syllabus of, of the environment science of the gate paper if you are preparing for the engineering services. Okay. See, this online test series, uh, uh, because there are a uh, number of tests in, for example, if you take the AS Academy online test series, mock test series, right? Subject wise tests are there, full length mock tests are there, right? So, how you used to schedule all these examinations in your preparation? First of all, uh, in when, when you get the test series, like, let's assume you take it in from uh, May, May, June, if you take the paper uh, test series for the gate 225, then first do the part time test series, like the subject. Uh, there are three types of test series. One is a single subject, sim simple single subject test, then two to three combined tests, and then a full length test. First of all, attempt the single subject tests uh, completely, complete all of them, and keep on noting the points that you are committing the mistakes, and keep on revising that mistakes. If you are not revising that mistake, then you will again uh, uh, again do the, that mistake in another exam. So uh, note down or save. If there is also a save option. You can save it and uh, uh, try to revise it always. Keep on revising revising those uh, wrong question that I've, and if you any question you don't know that you don't know the uh, concept of that question, then there is a solution below it. So you can go through it, uh, clear the concept, and next time when you attempt, make sure that you do not commit the same mistake. So after one or two months, let's complete the single subject test. Then after one or uh, one month. Uh, start attempting the two to three combined tests, two to three, three combined subject tests. So, so let's say maths and apt and something like that. I uh, start attempting, then complete all of that. And then after, I think after from September, October, you just uh, start attempting the full length test series, full mock test series and, uh, and give it like you are giving the ex actual exam. Don't like the, it's just a test. Series. Don't take it as a test. Series. Take it as an actual exam. It, then it will help you a lot. You will feel the pressure. Don't stop the test in between and just came out. No, complete the full test with the full focus like the exam, like yes. the real grade. Yes, yes. The student should always uh, take this point into consideration. Even though it is a mock exam, you should treat like a real exam only. Mm, right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one more, Vishak. Sorry. One more, Shushan. Shushan. Sorry. One more. So one more point, what I want to say. Some students, you know, while taking these mock exams, if at all they come across certain mistakes, etc., they keep a notes of these mistakes they, to prepare further on those points. Such a notes, anything have, is prepared by you? Yes, sir. I have already, I have, whatever test I have attempted, I have noted down the uh, the mistake that I have committed in the in the notebook. And I used to revise. And if there is one mistake, then I used to underline that don't consider, don't do this. And used to revise those uh, uh, wrong questions or the question that I have made mistakes so that I, th I should not repeat that in future. I used to have a special uh, subject wise notebook of uh, and I used to revise that. Uh, Sushant, you might have also prepared a short notes for the revision purpose, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what points you used to write in this short notes and how short it is? How many pages if you know? Approximately. Sir, for so it depends, sir, uh, sir. Like it depends on person to person. What are you don't every every person short note is different. Uh, what you feel that you are not good in, like if you very easy formula, you are very good in it. Don't note it. Just note the the things that you are a little bit confusing or not that much sure. Just note that thing, and it will be a hardly of uh, my short note was hardly of one hundred or two hundred pages. Sir. It was very one hundred pages. Total. Yes. All yeah, combine also, also combine also. Okay, right. Okay, Shushan, with this uh, eighth rank in the environmental science, uh, so which PSU are going to target? 
sir i think the don't uh, i think the i will target the phd from the civil engineering paper because uh, uh, in the environment science paper if the record is it is a new if some phd will came then i will apply for it yeah environmental science you know we have some phd jobs earlier what i remember in this bureau of indian standards yes sir. so it's notified earlier some vacancies exclusively for the students who took the gate exam in the environmental science bureau of indian standards you can export that one of course for civil there are many openings you can try yes okay uh, shushant uh, of course you have given many useful points to the aspirants of the gate examination you want to add anything more just don't panic if you are not getting successful in one year don't panic that you are not you will not able to do it sometimes it takes time you it some sometimes it takes time to achieve something maybe someone achieves in one year or someone takes more time so don't be panic don't think that i could not do it just be positive have a faith on you and keep preparing continuously keep on keep on consistency is the key you just keep on improving and you will definitely get successful someday thank you shushan dev i once again congratulate you and wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors god bless you thank you so much